Mini shotgun microphones are everywhere, and you see them on the phones and cameras of vloggers, TikTokers, YouTubers, and microphone manufacturers would really like you to keep buying these little mics, but do they actually make you sound better? or are you just wasting your money? First off, most of these so-called mini shotgun microphones aren't even true shotgun mics. A true shotgun mic has what's called a low bar polar pattern. Most of the mini mics you find are either cardioid, supercardioid, or hypercardioid polar patterns. Why does this matter? Because it means they won't have as tight of a directional pickup pattern as a true shotgun mic. You can't focus in on just one thing. There are, however, some advantages to mini mics. As you can see, a low bar shotgun pattern picks up significant sound from the rear of the mic. A cardioid mic won't be as directional, but it won't pick up sounds as much from the back either. So for many purposes, that's okay. Let's look at some of the claims made about these so-called mini shotgun mics. The first claim they make is that you can focus your mic on your subject and reject sounds you don't want. But how does that compare to your phone or camera? So for this test, I'm gonna use a variety of devices. I've got an iPhone 10, a Sony ZV-1, and three mini shotgun mics. The uh, Deity D4 Mini, the CAD Audio Run and Gun, and the Mackie EM93M. So first off, I'm on my iPhone 10, and I have the ocean off to one side of me, and to the other side, there's a freeway, but the ocean is way louder. And so we can hear how the phone rejects sound from the side while hopefully focusing on me and what I'm saying. Also, it's pretty windy today, and unlike uh, shotgun microphones and cameras and things like that, you can't really put a dead cat on a phone, at least not one that I've seen. Now, phones have other ways of cutting down on wind noise, but they don't always work very well. So uh, I guess uh, you can hear whether this is cutting down the wind noise or not. Okay, so this is the ocean off to the side. And now I'm swinging around and the ocean is to the back of the phone. So how well does the phone cut down on the noise coming from the background? Now I'm using the Sony ZV-1 and it comes with a little dead cat that you can put on top. And so I have that on here. So it's cutting down on some of the wind noise, uh, hopefully. And once again, I have the ocean off to one side and that's swinging around here. And now the ocean is behind the camera. And how's it do it? Is it uh, rejecting any of the ocean noise? Now I have the Mackie mini shotgun microphone on the Sony ZV-1. I've got the dead cat on and the ocean is off to the side again. Uh, the wind is picking up pretty hard. So I don't know whether the dead cat is doing its job or not, hopefully. And uh, now we're gonna swing around and the ocean is to the back of the camera and the microphone. Now on the Sony ZV-1, I have the CAD audio run and gun mini shotgun microphone. And once again, the ocean is off to the side. Now we'll swing it around and we have the ocean to the back of the run and gun mini shotgun. Now on the Sony ZV-1, I have the Deity D4 mini mini shotgun microphone and the uh, dead cat is on to cut down on some of the wind noise because the wind is really blowing. Now let's swing it around. The ocean is to the back of the microphone. How well is it rejecting that ocean sound and focusing on me? The mini shotgun mics did have an advantage here over a built-in phone microphone. While you could still understand my voice, the phone didn't do nearly as good a job rejecting the loud ocean noise when placed at the back or the side of the camera. The built-in mic of the Sony ZV-1 was an improvement over the phone and having a stereo mic can be useful in some situations still. I think the mini mics did have the advantage in this really harsh, audio environment. So depending on the camera and the mic, the mini mics can make a difference in terms of directionality and rejecting sounds from the sides and the back. If we take these mics indoors, we have another problem, room reflections. When you record indoors, your subject might be talking directly to the camera, but those sounds are also bouncing off the walls and they take longer to get to the mic than the original sound. And so your audio gets echoey and smeared. Can a mini shotgun mic help eliminate room sound? In theory, reducing sounds from the sides and the rear of the mic might help, but we actually need to test this. Right now I'm in my kitchen and I'm sitting in a cozy little breakfast nook with some nice window light, but what I also have is a lot of reflected sound. I've got uh, a big room off to my right here, hardwood floors, appliances, cabinets, and it just makes a lot of echoey sound. This is not a great place to record from an audio standpoint, especially when I'm just using my phone. So let's put on some shotgun microphones and see if it improves the sound. Now I have the Mackie mini shotgun microphone 
account on my phone and otherwise I'm in the same environment. Now I have the CAD Audio Run and Gun Mini Shotgun Microphone on my phone and it's in the same kitchen with the reflective sounds coming everywhere. And now I have the Deity D4 Mini Shotgun Microphone on my phone and I'm in the kitchen and I've got those hardwood floors and lots of sound bouncing around. Now, to me, the audio was not noticeably better using the mini shotgun mics. The mini mics made my voice a little easier to understand, but the room sound was still awful. The second claim you often hear is that these mics will give you a fuller, richer sound. What the heck does that even mean? I mean, in theory, these mics could have a better frequency response than your built-in mic because they're, they're bigger mics. This is obviously gonna vary though, depending on the quality of your phone, the camera, your mini mic. So let's compare a few mics and see what we can come up with. And just for reference, here's my iPhone microphone again. This is what the iPhone sounds like with no modifications, no dead cats or anything like that. This is the Sony ZV-1 with no dead cat on it, just using the internal microphone and nothing else. Now on the Sony, I have the Mackie EM93M mini shotgun microphone. There's no dead cat on it. It's just all by itself. Now on the Sony, I have the Deity D4 mini shotgun microphone. There's no dead cat on this one. Now on the Sony, I have the CAD Audio run and gun mini shotgun microphone. No dead cat on this one. It's just all by itself. While there were differences between the three mini mics, I thought they all sounded way better than both the internal phone mic and the built-in mic on the Sony ZV-1. Now, keep in mind though that the mini shotgun mics didn't have any dead cats on them. That was so you could hear them at their best. The downside though is that when there's no dead cats on, any breeze, any breeze added unacceptable rumble. But when you put a dead cat on a mic, you change the frequency response a little. Whereas the phone handled the wind pretty well on its own, but it just didn't sound very good. So, are mini shotgun mics a scam? No. There are certain environments where they add absolutely no benefit over the built-in mic of your phone, namely indoors in rooms with a lot of echo, but for outdoor recording, the mini shotgun mics made a noticeable improvement in sound quality. Could you get by with your phone's mic? Yes, of course, but adding a mini shotgun mic to your video production, given how inexpensive they are, is probably a good investment. Now, if you're curious about how much these mini shotgun microphones cost, I did put affiliate links in the video notes. Do you remember how awful my audio sounded in my breakfast nook? Are you wondering like, is there anything we could actually do about that to make it sound better? Well, there's good news because I've put together a video for you that addresses all sorts of audio problems. It will really help you improve your audio for video and get your video sounding professional. Click here and check it out.